vibe coding. Sounds fun, right? I mean, just describe what you want and let AI write the code. And boom, you've built an app. But here is the reality. Vibe coding is all fun and games until you actually need the code to work. So while Y Combinator startups may be raising millions on vibe coded MVPs, Indian IT firms and enterprises are saying, nah, we don't do that here. But what even is vibe coding? Let's break it down for you. Vibe coding is a term coined by OpenAI's Andre Karpathy, where you don't really code you just describe what you want, copy-paste AI-generated snippets, and pray that it works. I mean, for context, uh, it's like cooking a five-course meal, but with a YouTube recipe, and hoping for Michelin star results. AI tools like, say, Cursor, GitHub Copilot, and Replit make it easier for non-coders to build software. But just because something mostly works doesn't mean it's ready for production. And that's exactly why Vibe coding makes little to no sense in India. In India, tech is dominated by IT services giants, say the likes of TCS, Infosys, Wipro. These companies work on long-term projects for banks, healthcare, governments, where security, compliance, and maintainability matter more than speed. Vibe coding might be fine for a weekend hackathon, but someone still has to fix the AI mess. Senior developers are spending more time debugging AI-generated code than writing new code. AI does not yet understand business logic. It just spits out what sounds right. Technical debt, that's a future headache no one wants. And let's be real. If a junior developer can't explain their code, is it really their code at all? Let's talk about two aspects that are all important, privacy and security. I mean, just imagine AI coding tools ingesting sensitive banking or healthcare data, a major red flag. That's a lawsuit just waiting to happen. In the United States, companies are already banning tools like GitHub Copilot due to data privacy concerns. Indian firms aren't going to take that risk either. I mean, yes, vibe coding does have its place, but if you're looking to build, say, serious, scalable, secure applications, why coding is not the answer. I mean, it's a shortcut at best, but not a strategy. Let's look at the numbers. As per IDC, enterprises tested an average of 37 AI use cases in 2024, but only 44% made it to production. The report further stated that data trust issues and high infrastructure costs remain the biggest barriers to AI adoption. It also said that Gen AI tools for software development saw only a 50% of success rate in enterprise adoption. 15% is allocated for Gen AI. Most funding still supports existing AI or ML applications. Despite the AI hype, less than 1% of enterprise AI budgets go into workforce training. Companies are now shifting focus from AI experiments to cost-effective, scalable deployments. The real winners will be developers who use AI as a tool, not as a crutch. Why coding is, say, cool for demos, but in a country like India, where the tech world is majorly enterprise-driven, it just doesn't fit. The next time someone says, AI will replace coding, ask them this simple question. Who is going to debug the vibes? What do you think? Is vibe coding the future? or just another Silicon Valley created hype? Tell us in the comments below and make your answers long and detailed. We want to read them all. Do share this video with a fellow tech and AI enthusiast just like you. For more such stories just like this from the world of AI and tech, don't forget to subscribe to AIM TV because think AI, think AIM.